first and foremost, congratulations on landing your job. Hi. Um. After hours of hours of studying and going through all those algorithm problems and. You know, hurting your brain cells for a very, very long time. You finally got your first engineering job. First week of starting out as a engineer can be very nerve-wracking. Probably don't know what to expect. So, hello everybody. My name is Vicky, and today I am going to show you some of my tips and tricks that helped me to navigate my first week as a software engineer. Are new here? Hello, hello, hello. My name is Vicky, and if you're currently learning how to code or trying to progress in your career as a software engineer, this might actually be the perfect channel for you. Wait, wait, wait. But before we start, let's talk about the people that you're actually going to work with because that's super important. There are basically four types of different coworkers that you are going to be encounter at your first development job. The PMs, which is project manager, or、um, we call it the scrum master, they are the people that are going to be communicating between products and also the developers. And their goal is trying to organize the project and make sure that everyone is equally distributed with their workload and making sure that、um, the team is always at their optimized productivity. The next person that you're gonna meet is probably the products or the designers. Usually, the products and the designers are going to be the people who giving you the prototype of what they want as the product. So they usually are the ones who are creating the ticket that are going to be for you to pick up. They will describe the user stories to the project manager, and the project manager might be able to help out of the user stories. But basically, they are the people who are requesting. For the developers to work on tasks, the next group of people that you're going to meet are the actual developers in your team,、um, the people who are also in the same department as you,、um, the engineers. So you will be meeting a lot of different types of engineers, such as full stack, front end, back end, SQL developers, all of that, and they are going to be the people that you worked with the most. So then you got introduced, obviously, to your boss, your manager. So your manager can be someone who used to be a coder, or could be someone who does not understand a single line of code. They are the people that you are going to be reporting to.、Um, they are the people that who is going to be setting up one-on-ones with you, small, short meetings that you're gonna have with your、um, manager. So your manager is going to be someone who are there to guide you, who are there to help you, who are there to communicate with you. Obviously, the first thing that you're gonna expect is being able to pick a laptop. I don't really have a preference of what I would recommend you to pick.、Um, obviously, pick a laptop that's gonna make you productive. It's important to know what types of laptops that your team is using, especially the developers, because it will help you. To actually be able to、um, navigate and debug a little bit quicker, just because you are using the same operational system. Tip number one: Get familiar with the code base. You need to remember that you are here to get hired as a developer. Your main job is to code. So make sure that always you designate enough hours of spending time coding and working on the test. That you are assigned to. Make sure as soon as you get your laptop, you get all the stuff that you need. Spin up the environment, get into the code base, and start reading a tons of documentations, a lot of readmes, and understanding what's going on with the project. The second tip, which is super important, is to connect with the people in your team when you are starting out.、Um, so when I was first starting out.、Um, it's really important to、um, try to understand your team and your team dynamic. As I mentioned earlier in the video, that the people that you are going to be encountered in the team are going to be the people who are supporting you. Make sure that you understand their responsibilities and also how exactly you are going to interact with them in the future. One of my tips to help you to really understand and try to get to know each other is trying to set up like maybe one-on-ones with different individuals in your team and the first. First week when you're starting out, that really helps you to kind of like understand this person and try to get to know this person. And it doesn't have to be all you know professional. It could be like a quick chat, coffee break, or、um, hey, spend some lunch time with me so I can get to know you a little bit better.、Um, usually, the people who are 
working with you would be super excited to also get to know you they would be willing to spend time with you and try to understand where you're coming from and your background and get a better sense of how it's going to be like to work with you and trust me before they make the decision of hiring you they've already talked about you like enough you know and they definitely review you and chat about what they think about you how they feel about you they already love you tip number three reach out to a lot of the tech leaks or different types of projects that you are interested in and try to request for a architectural overview it's important for you to expand your knowledge not only in within your team not only within that project but also as a whole of different projects that are ongoing in the in the company that can help you to understand a ton of different informations from various teams and everything's kind of very connected with each other it opens up a lot of different opportunities for you tip number four trying to understand the deployment process the process from getting the designers uh, mock-ups to actually pushing the actual product into production like what is the process look like and how long does it usually take a feature to be developed and deployed into production um, trying to understand the whole process as a whole and try to understand um, how you are going to come into place into part of this process and within trying to understand the process like notice how scrum works how many days are going to be in a sprint how do they calculate sprints like is there any reviews at the end of the sprint is there any retrospective at the end of the spring when is the spring planning and what kind of tools that they use when they're designing QAing, and shipping the products um, how does those tools works and what is the general rule of thumb for the companies to communicate with each other is it emails is it slack is it some other internal communicating messenger systems last but not least the importance of code review so make sure that you understand the code base and also setting up time on the side to do regular code review and ask people questions about things that you don't understand trying to step into how to create your first task like try to pick up your first task and try to start working on it on your loco before you even pushing anything to the upstream don't feel overwhelmed that's the least thing that i wanted to make you feel you do actually spend eight hours at least every day at your job so you got plenty of time to do all those things and try, try to get familiar with all those things so don't feel like it's a lot and don't feel like it's overwhelming um take it day by day and take it step by steps and you will get there you'll get familiar with the code base you'll get independent you'll um, start feeling good about your job don't get scared of a large code bases you'll get familiar with it and once you get familiar with it shipping things like super easy i actually make a video specifically talked about how you can get familiar with the code bases um, right here so if you are interested in that topic make sure that you go click somewhere here to check out that video as always be safe and be curious and be open-minded until next time i would talk to you soon adios